Hello, this is Reverend Don Lewis, and welcome to another week of Living the Wiccan Life. On March 28th of this year, a special unity ritual was held in Chicago at the Life Force Arts Center, involving most of Chicago's pagan community leadership. We at Magic TV were pleased to be able to bring you the Chicago unity ritual in full. The evening's special guest of honor was Oberon Zell Ravenheart, who was in Chicago for a weekend of classes and workshops. A reception had been held for Lord Oberon upon his arrival in Chicago at Holy City Temple, hosted by Corellian Archpriestess Tracy Loganwood. In this episode, I'm very pleased to be able to bring you some brief footage from that reception, as well as an interview with Lord Oberon in which he discusses, among other things, the idea of legacy. I'm sure that you'll enjoy this episode. Um, hi, I'm Tracy Logan Wood, Chief Priestess of Holy City Temple, uh, Archpriestess and Elder of the Karelian Tradition. And uh, you were hosting a reception for Oberon Zell this evening? Yes, we had a dinner party to welcome him to our fair city of Chicago um, before he gets started on his um, other workshops that he came in to do. And how did it go? Uh, it went really well. Um, there was a lot of laughing. Um, everybody seemed to enjoy each other's company a whole lot. Um, the food was good. Dessert was awesome. The singing was quite remarkable as well. <laughs> Only when I'm in the mood. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hello, this is Reverend Don Lewis, and welcome to another week of Living the Wiccan Life. Tonight, I'm at Holy City Temple in Chicago at a reception being held for Oberon Zell Ravenheart. You know it, I'm looking at it. He doesn't know it now, for sure. Yeah, okay. It's moose. Moose. I like a moose. I've never had anything quite like a moose. I've had many lovers. My life has been loose, but I've never had anything quite like a moose. This is so great. This was wonderful. Thank you, Don. Thank you. It was fabulous with all these great people. And now to tell my joke. And it's moose. Moose. I like a moose. I've never had anything quite like a moose. I've had many lovers. My life has been loose. But I've never had anything quite like a moose. Hello. <laughs> well, would you like to say who, who you are? And, uh, are we live? Yeah. Oh, you mean this is video? This is video. I thought it was just taking a Oh, no, no, this is video. Nikki Diamond. And um, having a great time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I hope we're on. I'm having a blast. This is, great. this is great. It's great to be back in Chicago again. Yeah. Had you ever, um, uh, have you met Oberon before? No. No. What do you think? Pretty cool. Yeah. Used to read the Mayor Magazine when there was one out there to read. It was great. Wow. Yeah. It was awesome. I wish I still had all this. But the anthology is also Oh, well, that's cool. That's great, yeah. This has been really fun. She has to meet someone awesome that helped keep us going. Oh, I just have, it's, it's just wonderful. Everywhere I go, everywhere we go, there we are, you know? And it's just, yeah. I always feel like I'm, everything that I go to is a family reunion. It is like that. You know? This has been great. It's, it's a wonderful thing. We've been just having so much fun. You know? Having good food and telling yeah, stories and of a lot of stupid <laughs> jokes and dirty jokes. Dirty jokes. <laughs> jokes. <laughs> songs? Yes, yeah, like dirty songs. Right, right. It's all good. It's all good. Good food, wine, dirty songs. What else do you want to I know, you know. I 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 Hello everyone out there in Witch School land, in the internet, World Wide Web, uh, we are here. With the, uh, with the Occult Bookstore. And uh, I'm Lisa, uh, this is Lavelle, and of course we are here with Oberon Zell. Yes. We had a wonderful time this evening. Uh, I'd like to tell you all about it, you can write some things about it. Uh, you can go to Occult Bookstore, www.occultbookstore.com. Uh, and read about our evening together, uh, and uh, talk about all things magical and occult. Thank well. you very much. Thank you. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. some of the best stuff we've been doing this evening we can't tell you about. So there you go. We've been having a lot of fun. Yes, this is yes, very sure. We have been having a wonderful time. Really great. <laughs>
good well, laughs, good version. friends. Yeah. Yeah. Old, old friends and new friends. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm here with Oberon Zell. Hello. Hello. You're in Chicago. Yes. yes. And how, how long are you in Chicago? Well, I'll be here through the weekend. I came in uh, yesterday, Wednesday, and I'll be here through Sunday and going home Sunday night. And you're doing a number of workshops, I believe. Evidently. Yeah, and you're taking part in the Pagan Unity Night. Yes, on Saturday. Mm -hmm. And this, this is a, a very auspicious uh, event because the first Pagan Unity Night was, was, I believe, 15 years ago, almost to this very night. Really? And it was part of, part of the great renaissance of paganism in, in Chicago after, um, after the Parliament of World's Religions. Ah. And I'm hoping a lot of good things come out of this. And I think you'll have a wonderful time. Absolutely, I'm sure. And, and this, uh, is, this is my old home turf in San Francisco. I, I grew up in this area. Oh, uh, how does it feel being back? Oh, it's wonderful. I mean, it's, uh, you know, I, what I've been doing, of course, so far as the museums and stuff, but also getting to hang out with people who I'm just meeting. Wonderful people, wonderful people. I'm just loving this, you know, this is so great. Old friends and new yeah. friends. And, yeah. and it's, it's always old home week for me when I go someplace. It's like, Wherever I go, there I am, you know, there we are, you know, and, and the woods are full of us. And it's, yeah. it's just a great feeling. Every, everything I go to is like a family reunion. Well, we've been having a bit of, a bit of a family reunion tonight, in, yes, in your have. honor. Oh, it's been sweet. I'm, I'm glad that I've provided an occasion, you know, well, insofar. It's been a wonderful time. I believe you, you were originally intended to come out for a different event. Yes, it was, it was a polycon, a polyamory conference. It, they had... Uh, set it up and had me all set to come out here and they bought the tickets and then not enough people signed up so they had to cancel the con which ended up with me being kind of the tickets but you know but no conference to go to which is great because when I'm doing a conference I'm stuck in the hotel the whole time yeah. but this time I get to stay with friends I get to you know go to the, around the museums I get to hang out at parties and, and, and still do workshops and things but I'm not stuck in the hotel the entire time which is wonderful I'm totally loving this good I mean, my whole thing with the, with the community was to get to hang out with all the wonderful people that are a part of it, you know? And I grew, when I grew up as a changeling, my search was always to find my peoples, you know? <laughs> my peoples. And now I have my peoples everywhere, you know? And oh, so, that's wonderful. So the, the yeah. most wonderful thing for me is just to go hang out with my peoples, you know? Now, this, this is the first interview that we have done with you when you're not wearing your robe and your hat. That's right, yes. And uh, I was wondering Sorry? if you could take a moment and... and, and um, Speak, speak to why you wear the robe and the hat. Well, those are my official regalia. It's like why a priest wears the robes and cassock, or why the Tibetan lamas wear their, their things like that. That's my official wizardly regalia, and it's ancient traditional regalia. I mean, it goes mm -hmm. way back thousands thousands of years, the, the pointy hats and the robes and stuff. In fact, Very true. these became the basis of our official academic regalia. You know, I mean, you yeah. see, you know, if you want to see wizardry outfits in modern days, just go to some big university graduation ceremony and you'll see all the deans and dons all lined up in wizard robes, really. So I wear those when I'm doing that kind of stuff. But I'm here for just having a party, you know, so kind of party, and it's a little different. Uh, is there anything you're particularly hoping to do while you're here? Well, I hadn't really thought of it that way. Um, visit with friends and see the museums. I, 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 I grew up around here. I grew up uh, just 50 miles out of here. It was, it was my uh, uh, teenage years were spent in what I call Pleasantville. And, I'm writing all about this in my autobiography, which will be published by Llewellyn next year. So I believe you're, you're working very hard on that. Very hard. It's, it's quite a project. And um, it involves also interviews that I'm not doing with many people I've known over the years. Lots of people, actually. All kind of interspersed with Morning Gray, my own dialogue. We're calling it, uh, I mean, you know, unless Llewellyn decides to change the title, which is okay, but we're provisionally calling it The Witch and the Wizard OZ. It just seemed like a good, yes, you know, a good concept, and um, a good part of it takes place up here because um, you know I used to live in, in Crystal Lake, which is 50 miles from here, and then I'd come mm -hmm. in here in the trains in the summer, and my uncle had a gift shop at the Prudential Building, so I'd work there at the top of the rock, and then on the weekends I'd come back here on the train because I had a pass and hang out the whole time at the museums and zoos. I mean, Chicago is amazing. It's got two world-class zoos in one town and all these incredible museums, all within walking distance of each other. It's a fabulous place for culture. It's, it's unlike any place else. Really, there, there is no other place like it at all. I mean, I've been all over the world. There's nothing that has so much of the stuff I really like in one place. And today we spent the whole day at the uh, uh, American Museum of Natural History, the Field Museum, and we only got to see two exhibits. You know? <laughs> 
but we really saw them in depth, and that was yeah. the that was the Egyptian and the evolution. Oh my goodness! Scene, which are wonderful, wonderful, and Sue the dinosaur. You know, I mean, we were so into that stuff, and I, I love it. I just love it. Wonderful. Well, thank you very much, You're and we'll, we'll we'll look forward to uh, kind of following you through your weekend a little cool. bit. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm looking forward to doing these workshops and presentations and things. And I'm sure everybody's looking clothes. forward to your doing it. Good, good. Well, it's going to be fun. All right. Well, well, here's to a great weekend. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> there you go. All right. Okay. I wonder what that was. I don't know. You drank it. I hope that you enjoyed part one of this episode, and you'll join us again for part two, and more of our interview with Oberon Zellreidenhardt. And don't forget our books, Witch School First, Second, and Third Degree, Ritual and Theory in Practice, and Living the Wiccan Life, available now at a bookstore near you, or get them direct from us at www.witchschoolstore.com.